Hi, I'm Matt Richardson for Make Magazine. Using an old cigar box, I wanted to make an electronic version of one of those mechanical wind-up music boxes, and I thought there were a few different ways I could do it. I could use one of these electronic greeting cards that plays music when you open it, or I could use an MP3 trigger board or an Arduino shield, or I could use an old MP3 player. I decided to go with this cheap knockoff MP3 player because it has this switch on the top that when you flip it over to on, the music just starts to play, and I think it's going to make it a lot easier to hack it for our music box. Let's check out what's inside. When you take the battery away, you see underneath, there's that switch and the headphone jack next to it, and on the bottom, the SD card slot and the USB port. Let's see how we're going to make this work. There's the battery and there's the MP3 player. We're gonna leave the switch on the MP3 player in the on position and put our own switch between the battery and the MP3 player. When the box's lid is closed, the switch will be open. But when we open the box, the switch will close, connecting the battery to the MP3 player, causing the music to start to play. I measured out a spot on the side of the box for a snap action switch and cut out a notch with my Dremel. Now it's not a pretty notch, but the switch seems to fit okay. I soldered a couple leads to the switch. And put a little heat shrink on them. This is always the fun part. I wanted to be able to easily charge the battery and change the songs on the MP3 player, so I found this panel mount female USB adapter. I put a couple holes in the side of the box and cut a main hole for where the USB cable can poke through. Admittedly, it doesn't look very good, but it works just fine. I took apart these speakers to use inside the box. These speakers are great because they don't require batteries and they plug directly into the MP3 player. I then figured out how I was going to lay everything out inside the box. I desoldered the battery from the MP3 player and soldered the battery to the switch. Heat shrink. I soldered the other lead from the switch to the MP3 player. Now it's time to test it out. When you let go of the switch, the MP3 player should play the file that's loaded on the SD card. If that test works, you could just mount everything inside the box. I wanted to give this music box as a gift to a friend of mine who is an avid video gamer. So I loaded up some 8-bit style video game music on there. And as a matter of fact, there's the perfect amount of room for a couple Wii remotes. The MP3 music box makes an amusing and whimsical gift for a friend, and it's easy to customize to their musical taste. Thanks for watching.